The Australian frigate HMAS Sydney is paying a four-day visit to Sasebo, Japan, and the crew have been given shore leave. Seaman Thomas Bailey and a group of shipmates have decided to travel to Nagasaki. They want to see where the atomic bomb was dropped during World War II. They decided that the easiest way of getting about in Nagasaki would be by streetcar or what they would call a tram. From a streetcar stop, it is only a short walk to Peace Park, where they will start their visit. This is the hypercenter, the spot directly under which the atomic bomb exploded at precisely 11.02am on August 9, 1945. Sub-Lieutenant Christopher Anderson is a keen photographer and had much to occupy himself with, such as these colourful paper chains that consist of a thousand cranes, each that are used as a mark of respect by the Japanese. Everything is well documented, even in English. Next it was off to the Nagasaki Atomic Bomb Museum to see the thousands of amazing artefacts from the blast. Like this clock, which stopped ticking at precisely the time the bomb exploded. Leading seaman Leanne Mumby, like many, was in a pensive mood as she made her way through the museum. It's now off to the next destination, the Memorial Park and its magnificent water fountain. The giant statue is a symbol of peace, hope for the future and faith in humanity. It is popular with visitors and is great for photographs too.